Hi and welcome to a new Tech Stuff episode on my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the Futaba uh, Fast Receiver R6303SB. Uh, it's uh, the smallest Futaba SBUS receiver you can get uh, today. It's a three channel receiver and uh, with SBUS you have I think up to uh, 18 channels. The issue you have with all these Futaba receivers, they are simply too big to install in a race drone. So uh, the frames are getting smaller and smaller. You can't find a solution to put these receiver, receivers inside uh, a race drone without modifications. So I decided to take this <clears throat> receiver and modify it a way that uh, it fits almost in every frame. First let's have a look at the size and weight of the original receiver size. Uh, the case itself is uh, uh, what we have here, 37, 38 millimeters long and it's 2.2 uh, centimeters wide and around 1 centimeter high. Additional you have uh, the plug which uh, comes out of the front of your uh, receiver which, which makes it even uh, almost a centimeter longer with the cable in front of your plug. The weight is around uh, 7 grams, this is not the case because the modified version is down to 3 or 4 grams but uh, this, these few grams doesn't really matter. So we're uh, uh, only looking at the size of the receiver, what we can do to make it fit better in any uh, race drone frame. The first step I did was this version here, so it was pretty simple, just take the receiver out of the case, use some shrink tube to protect it, and I also waterproofed it, but it was no success, the uh, receiver yeah, was damaged more or less, and so I, I decided to do no more uh, waterproofing uh, these receivers. The size is almost still the same. You have a height of around um, six or seven millimeters. You have two centimeters of width and length is still 34. But the biggest problem is the height because the pins you have for your, um, for your servos or for your SBUS connection these make the biggest difference. So I had to do a step two and we'll have a look now at the step two. So this is my final solution for this receiver. So I just soldered off all the pins, soldered uh, the cable for SBUS directly to the electronics plate and like this I have a really small nice flat receiver which can be installed almost on every race drone frame. But you have to be careful if you solder off all these pins. It's pretty tricky because you have all the pins fixed at this uh, plastic part and you have to solder off these all these 12 pins, what makes it a bit uh, difficult. So what I did first, I cut it the upper pins behind uh, the plastic bar and like this I was able to solder off the the upper six pins and after this there were still the lower pins and what I did to take off these one by one is to cut the vertical cuts into the plastic uh, bar and like this every single pin was away from the other ones and like this I was also able to solder off every pin uh, by its own. And I can also uh, avoid the risk of damaging the electronics board with cutting it with the Dremel. I uh, did all the cuts with my Dremel. So first the six upper pins uh, cut it and then the vertical cut from the front side uh, through the plastic bar. And like this there was no risk to touch the electronics plate with my Dremel. And like this uh, I had no problem to cut it down. What I really have to say, if you do all these modifications, uh, be very careful because you can damage your receiver. 
it's uh it's not a, a cheap receiver it's almost a uh, hundred bucks so take care and it's all on your own risk if you do these modifications but i think it's worth it and it's really nice to have the possibility to fit it for example like this on my uh, current build my tokyo x frame there is really not much space on top of of the stack it is so small i can put it really easily onto the stack or even between the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC uh, like this. Like this it's really placed well and it takes almost no space. You can do it in every race drone and you have a clean solution with this Futaba receiver. So let's check the size and the weight. Width is uh, certainly the same, it's 2 centimeters. Uh, but the length is uh, the most important difference. If you cut down your uh, shrink tube uh, to the size of the of the electronics plate, we have less than uh, three centimeters. It's two point seven or something. For sure, uh, height is down at uh, I don't know three four millimeters. So that's almost perfect uh, for any size of race drone frames. Then let's check the weight and we are at around 4 grams. This is including the cable, so without cable we should be around 3 grams, which is okay. So that was already all for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you like it, give me a thumb up, uh, comment, share, subscribe and as always, happy flying. Bye bye.